I'm with uh, Dream Defenders. I'm the vice president of the uh, campus chapter of uh, here at FSU. We're here uh, because we feel like Trayvon Martin did not get justice. We're here because every day, uh, every time we walk out of our you know apartments or our houses, every time we walk through our neighborhoods, people ask us why you know we have we feel like we have a right to exist, and we're here because our lives are constantly under threat. I've been here since Tuesday. Last Tuesday? Well, yes, last Tuesday, 10 a.m., sleeping on the same floor. You can uh, leave any time you want. Uh, but after 5 o'clock, the doors uh, close, but you can't come back in. So I've made, it, made an effort, um, in spite of <laughs> my sanity, to be here the entire time. We're getting support from all over um, the country. Um, Michelle Alexander, um, she wrote The New Jim Crow. And uh, she was on MSNBC and talking about how amazing we are. Um, Phil and Sierra Taylor and uh, Melanie Jade were also on MSNBC. Um, we're getting some, even all Sharpton um, endorsed our actions. So I feel like we're definitely getting a lot of support. And you know, people of all ages come and they say that we're inspiring. So I think it's really effective. Um, it's really important that we make sure that we get justice for Trayvon and make sure that we don't create a system in which George Zimmerman's, you know, have this mentality that it's okay to kill our black and brown youth and to get away with it. Gene Defenders um, actually started um, after, I think it was 2006, with Martin Lee Anderson, but it wasn't called Dream Defenders. They did the same thing that we did. They um, went to George, uh, Jeb Bush's um, office and occupied it for 36 hours. Last year, with when uh, George Zimmerman killed Trayvon Martin, there was like this outcry within the local community. So. Um, a couple of Dream Defenders, like Phil and like Michael and, um, and Gabe, they marched from Stanford to Daytona and they blocked the police station. And um, uh, a couple hours later, George Zoom was actually um, arrested. The fact of the matter is that our lives are still at risk. There was Jordan Davis in Jacksonville, you know? He was just a kid with his friends playing loud music at a gas station and someone decided they didn't like it and they killed him. As long as, you know, racism exists in this country, Dream Defenders has a future. Ideally what we want is for Dream Defenders not to exist in the future, which means that like, we don't have to, like, like these problems won't be here anymore. Unfortunately, we know that it's gonna be a while, which is why we're fighting.